Welcome back to The Water Show. Thanks for being here. Anna drexler Dreiss is joining me, Trout Unlimited <laughs> board member. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Is water your life? Um, it Parts is, of water. Yeah, it is definitely right now. I am... Okay. Uh, I work for a, a land trust that we do a lot of water okay. stuff, and then I'm a master's student getting my okay. uh, degree, and I'm working on this Fraser Flats River Habitat project okay. for that. Okay. What's your master's degree going to be in? It's going to be in environmental management. Oh. So do this, you want to do this all the time? Things I like hope this. so. Yeah. Okay. Good yeah, luck. Water is water's really important, <laughs> yeah. especially in Grand County. Yeah. So. Very cool. How long yeah. have you been um, in Grand County? Um, I've been here for about six years. Okay. Moved up here from Fort Collins. Very nice. Do you ski? Yeah. I do. Yep. Yeah. Ski. Good. Yeah. Very good. So like yeah. to use the natural environment. Absolutely. And very cool. Um, do you like summer or winter better? Um, I like them both. It's oh. Like, it's really hard to pick. <laughs> uh, I, I love skiing in the winter. I yeah. love rafting and hiking and backpacking yeah. in the summer. So. Okay. Okay. Just, just depends. All around. Yeah. Very good. Very cool. Well, thanks again for being here. Tell me, let's dive into, tell me um, what your role is uh, maybe in Trout Unlimited and how it goes with this project and what that looks like for you. Okay. Um, so I joined the local Trout Unlimited board of directors about two or three years ago now. Okay. Okay. And um, about a year and a half, I started my master's program. Okay. Uh, I'm going to school at Western State Colorado University. Okay. Um, but remotely, I live here, work yeah, here yeah. in Grand County. So I took on, um, as part of my master's project and as a TU board member, yeah. um, the vegetation component of the Fraser Flats River Habitat okay. Project. Okay. So that's um, a two-part stream restoration project, the channeling uh, part that Kirk right. talked about yep. earlier. Digging it deeper. Yep. yep. And then I'm really focused on the vegetation component okay. of the project. Okay. Do, is that a natural like for you to do the vegetation or do you like channeling as well and it just happened that you did this one? Um, it's really something new for me okay. that, I, that I took on. I, I did a lot of research um, this past summer, interviewed yeah. a lot of experts. Okay. And so basically what, what I'll be taking on, what I'll be doing is um, that section of the Fraser River, mm -hmm. the Fraser Flats mm -hmm. area, it's, it's this wide, um, flat valley floor mm -hmm. that was mm -hmm. heavily overgrazed. So there's some okay. willows and yeah. riparian vegetation there now, but there needs to be a lot more to improve yeah. the, the health of the river. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to be working with community volunteers okay. this spring okay. um, in May. Yeah. Um, May 6th, we're going to harvest 4,000 willows. Oh my gosh. Um, a lot of willows. <laughs> and we're going to harvest them from Ranch Creek, which is a tributary to the okay. Fraser River. Okay. Um, so we're going to harvest 4,000 willows, yeah. and then two weeks later, uh, May 20th and 21st, that's yep. a Saturday, Sunday, yep. community volunteers will help me and the rest of the Trout Unlimited board. Yeah. We're going to plant those willows on the Fraser okay. River. So okay. we're, we're moving them to the Fraser. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, tell me, let's talk about the importance of the willows a little bit more and um, the part of the land, what's the word? Riparian. Riparian. Yep. Uh, let's talk about the importance of that in general for people okay. who don't know. Okay, yeah, the riparian area is really critical, um, not just for the river, but for the wildlife okay. that use it. Um, so if you, we're trying to create the, a more healthy or a healthier riparian zone. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna plant willows mostly on the southern banks of the river. Okay. Those willows are gonna grow taller and create a much needed shade cover. Okay, okay. So that shade cover is gonna um, help cool down yep. the stream because the stream temperature is really hot right now, mm -hmm. too hot. Mm -hmm. And then um, the willows will also stabilize the stream banks, yeah. provide some underbank habitat for fish and right. bugs. Right. And then once those willows start establishing, once they grow up taller, they're going to create some microclimate for other herbaceous plants, okay. um, grasses okay. and flowers to come in yeah. and create this really diverse riparian okay. area. Did you say that willows existed there and then they went away and now we're re replanting? Yeah, so that the Fraser Flats area yeah. has been um, grazed in the grazed. 1800s, okay. heavily okay. grazed it actually supported one of the biggest herds in the valley Got in the it. 1800s. Okay. So the cattle came in, they, they overgrazed it. it, and once 
once that riparian zone gets overgrazed, yeah. it really needs some help to reestablish. Right. So the and so the risk of then that happening again, it won't happen because we're monitoring the right. grazing and the, the yeah. use of that there, land. It's not that the area where we're working yeah. is fenced off from cattle. Okay. Um, okay. It won't be grazed. It's a fly fishing property. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be continued yeah. to be used right. that way. And a, an important statistic for people to know is 90% of wildlife. Um, benefit from the three percent of the riparian zone. Definitely, yeah, it's a amazing statistic right? actually because so that riparian zone, which is specifically that is the land adjacent to the river. Yeah. So that riparian zone, it's only three percent of our okay. of our land okay. cover, but yeah, ninety percent of wildlife use right. that zone at some right. point in their life. May right. it be in the beginning, middle, or the end of their life. Okay. And it's a critical area for wildlife. Interesting. You said you like to raft. Do you like to fish as well? You know, I'm not a huge, <laughs> a huge fisherwoman. Um, right. I've been known to catch a few fish in okay. my life. But, okay. Okay. Um, I enjoy the river for other reasons. Yeah. Yeah. But the fish are critical. They right. They need to be there. Right. So and yeah. For the fish to be there, the bugs need to be there. Yeah. So it's all Very part cool. of the cycle. All part of it. Um, we're hanging out with Anna. We're gonna take a quick break. Um, we'll be back. If you want to volunteer, if you want to be a part of what Anna's talking about, you can check out Trout Unlimited's website, which is, do you know? It's coheadwaters.org. Flash in below, or you can check out Grand County Learning by Doing.org, which is the name of the project um, that we've been chatting about. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on TV 18. Okay.